Okay, divisibility number two. We're going to go six through ten. So um, for six, what we want to do is six is cut pretty easy because it's just a combination of what we've done before. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so six divisible by two or three. So what you want to do with six is if it's divisible by two, okay, so it's an even number, and it's divisible by three. So you can add up all the numbers. If it's divis if that number is divisible by three, um, then you're good. So even numbers divisible by three are divisible by six. Seven. Trick for seven. No, sorry. There's no rule for seven. Uh, basically... If you divide everything else out and you're left with a seven, then you know you got divisibility by seven, and that's it. Um, same kind of thing with eight. There's no real rule for eight. Um, if you have two fours, you know it's divisible by eight. Uh, so if you, but by the time you do that, because what you'd have to do is divide by four and see if that answer is divisible by four. Um, but in that kind of time, you'd just be able to divide by eight and go from there. So 80. So we know 80 is divisible by eight because um, eight times 10 is 80. But if we had 80 div divide by four, we'd get 20. 20 breaks down to four and five. See those two fours? That means that it's divisible by eight. Okay. Um, nine. Nine kind of follows the same rule as uh, th threes. Okay? So, nine numbers add to a number divisible by nine. Okay? So, nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, uh, 54, 63, 72, so on and so forth. And here's the neat thing. So here we have um, 48,762. And when we add all these together, notice that we get 27. But let's say we got something even bigger. So let's say that we had 48762. Now by pushing that to the the same, I know this adds up to 27, 2. Um, and these two add up to 54. So if I add all those, it would add up to 54, which means it's divisible by 9. But let's say we got a really big number. So we have this really big number, and it adds up to, let's say, 162. Like, I don't know off the top of my head whether or not 162 is divisible by 9. But when I add all these numbers together, I get 9. So it actually works kind of again and again and again. And that brings us to 10s. Anyone know the rule for 10s? Well, you should. It ends in 0. Okay, so now, um, so really quickly, I just want, so 11s and 12s, there aren't any rules. But with 11s, because you have two ones, you have very similar patterns um, once you get past 99. So 11 times 11 is 121. 11 times 12 is 132. 11 times 13 would be 143. Um, times 15, 154. Now, let's jump now. That's kind of simple because we can go, okay, um, it is, um, I'm just adding 11, but let's go, let's say 11 times 32. So what I can do really quickly is I can go 32 there and then I can put a 32 there. So that's going to be 352. Easy peasy.